Hi, I'm Tom Candiotti from the Lincoln Project Media Training Team. And if you're watching this, you are one of the select trusted news organizations in this country who are getting exclusive access to our media training in order to ensure that Donald Trump is defeated in November. The Harris campaign is still finalizing their platform, but it's appearing like she will most likely just be picking from Trump's proposals and repurposing them as her own. As a trusted journalist, it will be your job to frame these proposals negatively when attributed to Trump and vice versa for Harris. Here is a recent example from CBS who who properly used our tactics in regards to removing tax on tips. For Harris, we emphasize that she is fighting for this policy, while for Trump, we emphasize the shortfall the federal government can expect. Now, here are some other examples we have using Trump's recently released 20 core promises, but feel free to add your own unique, but not too unique, spin on these proposals. First up, seal the border and stop the migrant invasion. Now, here's how we'd write that. Donald Trump's promise to seal the border and stop the invasion will only cause migrants to take more risks crossing the border, leading to an increase in unnecessary deaths and a furthering of the humanitarian crisis, experts warn. Be sure to cite experts, think tanks, and watchdog groups to further get the point across. Experts can be anyone really, so don't get too hung up on finding real one. Usually calling up any gender studies faculty at any college in the country will get you access to the top experts on absolutely any topic. Carry out the largest deportation operation in American history. Or, if elected, Donald Trump plans to carry out the largest deportation operation in American history. Here's why experts believe this will cause your DoorDash orders to take even longer. People hate waiting longer for DoorDash orders, and if you threaten them with this, you will get them to do whatever you want. Keep men out of women's sports. Or, Donald Trump wants to keep men out of women's sports. LGBTQ experts agree this will increase preteen suicide by 12,000%. You see, nobody likes dead kids. I mean, we do as long as it's from an abortion, but most people see that and immediately are concerned about a potential Trump presidency. End inflation and make America affordable again. Now here's a good version CNN ran in 2021. Feel free to copy and paste this or put your own spin on it. Theirs was why inflation can actually be good for everyday Americans and bad for rich people. You see what they did there? Are you following? All right, next up. Make America the dominant energy producer in the world by far. Or, Donald Trump wants to make America the dominant energy producer in the world. Experts warn this will kill your grandchildren due to climate change. Anytime you could threaten people with climate change or killing their grandchildren, that is a win-win scenario. Defend our constitution, our bill of rights, and our fundamental freedoms, including freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and the right to keep and bear arms. Or, Donald Trump wants to defend the Constitution, including freedom of speech. Here's why the KKK is in favor of that plan, Watchdog warns. Prevent World War III, restore peace in Europe and in the Middle East, and build a great Iron Dome missile defense shield over our entire country. All made in America. Or, Donald Trump wants to prevent World War III and restore peace in Europe and the Middle East. Here's why the average American will feel pain at the gas pump if he's successful. Pain at the gas pump is another good one to use as nobody likes more expensive gas, even if that means endless wars for foreign nations and tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of needless deaths. Stop the migrant crime epidemic, demolish the foreign drug cartels, crush gang violence, and lock up violent offenders. Or, Donald Trump wants to stop the migrant crime epidemic, demolish the foreign drug cartels, crush gang violence, and lock up violent offenders. Here's why people of color will be most negatively affected by this policy. You see, people of color being negatively affected by a policy is equal or even better to pain at the pump. So make sure you're able to tie that in as often as possible, no matter how shaky or spurious of a connection. Rebuild our cities, including Washington DC, making them safe, clean, and beautiful again. Or, Donald Trump wants to rebuild our cities, making them safe, clean, and beautiful again. Here's what many American cities looked like under Jim Crow. Are we so sure that's something we wanna go back to? Again, play the race card to make them look as bad as possible. Our experts show these are the most effective strategies. You see what I did there? Citing experts, which you probably all believe. But we don't have any experts here, but you believed it and that's what is important. Cut federal funding for any school pushing critical race theory, radical gender ideology, and other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content on our children. Or, 
Donald Trump vows to cut federal funding for any school pushing critical race theory, radical gender ideology, and other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content on our children. Here's what that might mean for your access to abortions. You see, abortions are another huge wedge issue this election, so anytime you can bring a topic back to this, you will instill the fear needed to get Kamala Harris elected. Women love their abortions in this country, and just the thought of not having access to them makes them angry and upset. Deport pro-Hamas radicals and make our college campuses safe and patriotic again. Or, Donald Trump wants to deport pro-Hamas radicals and make our college campuses safe and patriotic again. Experts warn deporting Hamas radicals would embolden white male terrorism. See, white male terrorism, that's a big one too, so you don't want to shy away from that either. Just remember, most people don't actually read the drivel you put out, but rather see the headlines and form their opinions based off of that. Your future as journalists rests on your ability to lie to the public. So make sure you lie early and often, and together we'll ensure Kamala Harris is the next president of the United States. Remember, these people who read this stuff are stupid sheep, and you can get them to do whatever you want with the right lies.